Welcome to Well Radio Part 8, Ergonomics Plus Ultra, Plus Ultra, All Mito. If you've seen uh, My Hero Academia. All right. Well, I've been slow on the videos the, the past few days. Um, let's see, I had three on Saturday. Sunday, I think I did one. Monday, I did one. Today, it looks like I'm doing one. Um, feel very slow to me. I mean, it's like, well, I'm only doing a video a day right now. Um, you know, just schedule-wise. Also, the fact that I'm waiting on some hardware, which I'll talk about in a minute. In any case, uh, you know, schedule-wise, it's been difficult to do multiple videos. Um, but I have I have managed to do one video each day at least, which I think is important. And also, you know, it's interesting to consider the expectations, right? You know, so if I only do one a day, that's 365 in a year. And if I do two a day, which is probably about my average right now, you know, you're talking well over 700. So, um, you know, it's like, well, if I do 700 videos, like I'm being slow. You know, that's an interesting way to look at it. I hope to speed up, uh, but right now I'm going slow. You know, part of it is, uh, like I've said before, I've been having some, well, not some, I've been having considerable pain typing, uh, and I'm trying to get set up to deal with that, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And that's definitely affected the pace at which I've been making videos recently. I have started uploading videos to the Internet Archive, partly prompted by a discussion or, or a, a mention on the Discord server about uh, the ads being shown on uh, the YouTube channel. So, you know, I don't show ads or have a monetized YouTube channel, but YouTube's going to show ads. So... Uh, you know, for those reasons, for people who might not want to watch ads um, or don't have a way to not watch ads, and also just for more permanence and distribution and so forth, I have started uploading uh, episodes to the Internet Archive. Uh, I've done the first, I've done up to episode 15 so far. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, and so I was hoping to inter upload some today, but my schedule didn't allow it so i'll try to upload the rest this week and then i'll try to make sure i upload once i'm caught up uh, both to youtube and internet archive there's not uh I, I don't know a way to organize the videos very well in internet archive i know they have all sorts of metadata um so there's probably some way i can do it but you know i, I don't know of something like playlists like on youtube so someone on Discord server suggested creating uh, a website to you know, point to the videos. And so some sort of web guide or web companion or website or something like that that would link out to the videos and uh, maybe describe them a little bit. That sounds like a good idea. So thank you for that suggestion. Um, I hope to get to that as well. Uh, uh, so... You know, I have mentioned that I've had significant pain in my right wrist and also my left wrist to some extent and my elbows a little bit, um, you know, even when I'm not typing at this point. So this has happened before. So I'm trying to figure out a setup where I can write comfortably for an extended period of time without having trouble with my wrists. I did get the Kinesis Advantage 360 keyboard, the split keyboard that's supposedly super ergonomic. Found it kind of frustrated to type on, but I'm told that it does get better over time. Um, I'm, uh, I, was, I was talking to Matt Might about this also. He said that the biggest thing for him was to switch to Dvorak instead of QWERTY layout. I've only ever typed with QWERTY. Given how slow I am right now, I think the last time I typed 
it was less than you know fewer than seven words a minute with the kinesis you know it seems like this is the time to switch if i'm going to switch so i did order the dvorak keycaps the official ones which expensive 75 bucks for pbt die sub uh, keycaps for dvorak so those are supposed to arrive tomorrow <clears throat> i also ordered uh, you know, Matt might has this blog post about RSI uh, issues that he had run into. Um, he was wearing these sort of compression wrist guard thingies, uh, not just for typing, but at night. Uh, he said that those were helping helping him over time. I talked to someone today who was, had a split keyboard, a different type of split keyboard, and he said that um, the split keyboard definitely helped over time, just being able to separate the two halves to be kind of wider, like shoulder, shoulder width. I noticed, by the way, that the Kinesis Advantage 360, which I have, I got the version that's not the pro version, so it's not wireless. It has a USB-C to C cable connecting the two halves, and that both keeps bumping into my laptop on the stand. And also it's it's not very wide, so I can't actually separate um, the two halves as far as I might. I have fairly wide shoulders. So uh, I've got another USB C to C, like an Apple one, for hooking up you know, iPhone, uh, iPad to my laptop or something. So I'm going to try swapping that out. I think that should work just fine. And I think it's also less stiff, so it probably won't run into my laptop. I think that will just generally be a better solution anyway. And then for whatever reason, Kinesis shipped a USB C to USB B connector. So I need an adapter or dongle to connect the keyboard to my laptop. So I might just get another. Well, I guess, I don't know. So somehow I'll get a USB C to C cable and try connecting it directly. That's kind of annoying. Anyway, I'm hoping this gear uh, and the stress relief balls and all the other junk I have will go away towards, um, you know, getting past these wrist things. I've, I've also looked into speech, um, to text and even handwriting to text. I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope I can type. I think typing would be the ideal way. Um, but I'll figure out somehow it feels very slow to me right now in terms of I want to be writing, I want to be working on a book. Um, and instead I'm messing around with, you know, stress relief balls and keycaps for fancy keyboards. But as I think I've mentioned before, this reminds me a lot of when I was messing around the beginning um, with my fancy microphone and microphone stand and shock mount and getting the software configured and figuring out how the YouTube Luffs algorithm works and figuring out how to use Final Cut Pro to boost the audio and all those things, which took a lot of time. It felt, felt like a lot of time, but now I'm at the point where, you know, I can record a video like this in one take. I know how to process the audio. I can kind of do that in my sleep. may not be perfect, but it's good enough. I understand the failure modes now um, pretty well. And uh, if I did make a mistake, I could record the video quickly next time. So, you know, just took a while to kind of figure out at that level what I need to do. So I'm hoping it's the same thing here. I mean, it's sort of like the scheme spec, the R6 RS spec, where they decided to not be 100% backwards compatible. They said, well, if we've succeeded, there'll be many more scheme programs in the future. Um, then there are scheme programs that exist. So, you know, it's okay to break some backwards compatibility, interesting perspective. And so my view is if I can really get a setup where I can type and, you know, do multiple sessions in a day without wrist pain, then, and, and I can end up typing a lot more than that ultimately over a long period of time will have a big benefit. And if I can't do that, if I can't type without pain and I'm not spending a lot of time typing, well, then it sort of doesn't matter now, does it? So this is the time to, to figure that stuff out. And the truth is I, one of the reasons I haven't written a lot 
the last few years is that I have pain when I type. So just trying to deal with that. Um, and then, you know, it also reminds me of something that Dean Wesley Smith uh, says in one of his books is that he writes fast, but his definition of writing fast isn't typing quickly because he says he's basically up to four fingers now from up two fingers uh, hunt and peck he did for years and now he can do four fingers but he's actually quite slow at typing however he spends a lot of time in the chair you know he spends a lot of time just sitting down and writing um, and he says that sort of average typing speed if you spend 15 minutes a day that's one ninety thousand word novel as long as you're not rewriting as long as you're doing one draft um, and so he says, if you spend an hour a day, that's four novels. Um, so anyway, his, his definition of fast writing just means that you spend more time writing, um, than you would otherwise. So that's the sort of fast writing I would like to get to where even if I am typing unbelievably slow at first, which I'm sure I will with Dvorak layout for this bizarro keyboard, um, I mean, I'm going to be typing slower than seven words a minute, almost certainly for a while. I just have to accept that. Uh, Focus suggested I put some music on these videos and be typing. <laughs> maybe the Benny Hill song or something. <laughs> Yakety Sax maybe would be the uh, appropriate song. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess I've been worried about you, YouTube strikes and I've heard that there are like these automated bots that will send you takedown notices and all that, even if you've created your own music, composed your own music. So I don't know. Um, besides, I kind of like the boredom, you know, I mean, leaning into the boredom, like the R6RS, you know, um, if I get people to watch the most boring videos ever, ever made, all right. You know, can we hit a new low? Me typing a novel or typing a book? Dvorak layout with this weirdo Kinesis keyboard at five words per minute, you know, okay, well that, that sounds like a new low. I'm into that. So, you know, that might be my, uh, my thing just to see what sort of, um, tolerance people have for, for deep boredom. Like if you want to go to sleep, something like that, or you need some ASMR videos, uh, you'll probably hear, a fair amount of cursing under my breath as I try to find the keys. All right, well, that's the current update. Short video, but I did want to get one in the can. Uh, I'll upload that and talk to you all soon. Thanks.